Another common class of errors are intensity normalization errors. Usually in this case, white matter is incorrectly labeled as gray matter. This happens most frequently in the ventral temporal lobes and the orbital frontal areas. To fix this, we will use control points, which boost the intensity of the voxels surrounding the control point. You can find these errors in any viewing orientation, but I find it easiest to detect OFC and ventral temporal errors with the axial view. As in the last video, note the slices where your error begins and where it ends. Here, I'm focusing on slices 152 to 156. To add control points, click on File, New Point Set. Call it Control.dat, and make sure the brain mask image is selected as the template. Add control points by left-clicking voxels that you think are white matter, but aren't included in the white matter boundary. Space out each control point by at least a couple of millimeters and do them for each slice that contains the error. When you're done, click on File, Save Point Set As, and call it Control.dat. Save it in the Temp folder. Then run this command. When it finishes, compare the white matter segmentation before and after. That concludes our overview of common free surfer troubleshooting modes. Before we leave each other, keep the following points in mind. First, once you get a feel for how to detect and fix certain errors, plan on spending about 10 to 20 minutes per subject. The point is to detect and fix the major errors. If you spend too much time troubleshooting, you become more likely to make a mistake trying to fix something that may not be an error. Two. I find that skull stripping errors are more easily detected using the sagittal and coronal views, whereas intensity normalization can be seen in any view. And lastly, remember that we're looking at 3D structures with 2D viewing panes. Something that looks like an error in one window may resolve later on, or it may make more sense when you look at it from all three views. And with that, we've finished the basics of free surfer and troubleshooting modes. I hope this helps, and I'll see you all next time.